Hello people, welcome back. This question is from GATE 2017 exam and is for 2 marks. You need to find the output of this code. So let us start executing it line by line. First line says, CAR star C is equal to GATE CSIT 2017, which is written in double quotes. Now, whenever you write some string in double quotes, it is a string constant and its value cannot be changed. This will be declared in read-only section of the code. Suppose it is declared here, okay. Even if you don't use a null character in ending, a null character will be added automatically, okay. So get CSIT 2017 and it will be null terminated, okay. Then care star C, what is the meaning of this line? C is a variable which is of the type pointer to some character, okay. Suppose this is variable C. It can point to some character. Which character is it pointing to? The first character of the string. So the C will point to this G, okay. The next line is care star P. This is also same thing. That means you are declaring a variable P which is of the type pointer to character like this okay what is the value stored in this variable p its value is same as the value stored in c what is the value stored inside c c is a pointer and c contains address of this g okay we are taking that address only and we are assigning it to p also that means p will also point to g only like this okay see whatever is stored inside g will be some address we are assigning that same address to p okay the next line is printf person d comma int string length of this now see here we are using the function string length or str len this function returns size t okay it returns a variable that is of size t or it is an unsigned integer that is the reason we are first converting it into an integer because we are using person d here whenever you are using person d the value that you are expected to write here must be some integer that is the reason we have converted its return type into integer okay now let us analyze what will actually be printed by this print statement string length is such a function that requires some pointer to a string. So in argument of the string length function, you must pass some pointer or an address. Pointers contain addresses only, okay. So we need to pass some address or a pointer here. Let us see if this is some address. So this is C plus 2P minus 6p minus 1. What is c? c is a pointer. That means c will contain some address. This is okay. It is an address. What is 2 of p? 2 of p is same as writing as p of 2. So this can be replaced by p of 2. Parallelly, it is equivalent to writing p of 6. Okay. Now what is the meaning of this? First thing is, we use square brackets generally with the array name. But P is not name of an array. P is a pointer to some character. Now we have already seen it multiple times that square brackets can also be used with a pointer. Okay. For example, here P is a pointer. So we can easily use square brackets. Let us see what is the meaning of this thing. It means what is the value stored at location pointed by p plus 2, okay? What is p? p points here. What will be p plus 2? This is p plus 1. This is p plus 2. So this will be p plus 2. See, p is address. p plus 2 will also be address. That is this address. Now, this star means take the value saved at that address. So value saved at this address is 
T, the character T. Okay. So this is some address. See, I'm repeating. C is some address. So I'm writing a A here. It is address. This means we are talking about this character T. Okay. So this is a character T. Okay. And you are trying to add this. Now, what is the meaning of this? This means value saved at address P plus 6. This is P, P plus 1, P plus 2, P plus 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the address P plus 6. What is the value saved here? Value saved here is I. So plus I. Okay, and minus one. Now have a look. Whenever you are trying to add characters, this means we are talking about their sky values. A sky value of t is maybe eighty-three. Yeah, maybe 83. Okay, we actually don't need the sky value. See, whatever be their sky values, the difference will remain constant. So you just assume, okay, we have a negative sign here. You just assume that a sky value of i is 0. Okay, this is assumption. If a sky value of i is 0, then what will be the sky value of t? See, i, sorry i then j k l m n o p q r s t that means from here after 11 characters you get t that means difference in their sky values will be 11 okay i don't actually know the sky values maybe they will be 83 and 84 and 73 maybe i'm not sure actually we don't need to learn these sky values we have already seen that difference will be 11 okay so the meaning of this thing is address C plus 11 minus 1. That means address C plus 10. That's it. Okay, 11 minus 1 is 10. So what is address C plus 10? C points to this one. This is C plus 1. C plus 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this one, it is address c plus 10. Now I have told you that string length requires some address. Already we have seen that this evaluates to address c plus 11. Okay, so we are passing some address which is this one. Now this function string length it will try to calculate the length of string whichever string is passed. You are passing this pointer. So string length will assume that this is the starting address of some string so it will try to count the number of characters just keep on counting the characters as you encounter them first character second character and the string ends so only two characters are there that means this function string length is going to return two that two will be converted into an integer so we are having a value two that is of integer type and here we are having percent d so integers can easily be printed so printf is going to print 2. Output of this entire code is 2. Okay. So answer is 2. Now let us see one more thing. See. Yeah. This is p plus 2. It evaluates to star p plus 2. That means value saved at address p plus 2. This is not normal addition. Okay. We cannot just say it is equal to p plus 2 it is actually pointer arithmetic that means to this address p we are adding two blocks okay two blocks if one block suppose this one block is of four bytes suppose actually it is a character and probably it will be of one byte only but if this one block is of four bytes then you are adding two blocks that means in total you are adding eight bytes okay so this is actually value saved at address p plus 2 into size of 
one element like this okay similarly you can just see what is the meaning of p plus x and parallelly c plus 10 is also pointer arithmetic that means from c you move 10 blocks ahead okay so this is c 10 blocks ahead means here okay so answer is 2